What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome to my QPR save where we try and get them back in the Premier League in one season. So here we are now at the start of October so we're going to go over the fixtures from last month and then we're going to go into the live com. So you saw us with our 2-1 victory over Ipswich with Zamora and Hale Robson Kanu picking up the two goals earning us all three points. Then we followed up um, that game with a difficult away trip to Watford. We managed to come away with there with all three points. A very hard fought three points as well. Remy ended up being the difference between the two teams really, you know. They dominated us. We do play the we did play attacking. I went out there, you know, like I do any other team, you know, looking for all three points, looking to dominate the match. It ended up not being like that. However, watching over the game, I didn't really feel we were in trouble. And that can be quite strange, you know, when you look at the possession shots and things like that. But really, we weren't really in trouble, you know. They only had five shots on target all game. And I, I felt we could come away with the game with all three points. I mean, shit, six, not shit, six shots, six on target. Um, so we were really clinical this game. And it proved, proved fatal as we won 2-1. After that, we faced Derby, another game, you know, probably the easiest game of the month. We ended up walking away with a 3-1 victory. Derby were never in the game. They had 11 shots overall, but their possession was so poor. I mean, every time they went forward, I, I never really were troubled. And again, the fact that we purely dominated them, you know, they hardly had the ball. We were always on top, always dominating in the end. Again, Loic Remy and Titus Bramble... Uh, Providing the difference for us, and a 90th minute goal, and it earned them a consolation. You know, 3-1 doesn't look as bad as 3-0, obviously, and we would have liked to have kept the clean sheet because we haven't kept many clean sheets this month or season, really. And like, but we have to move on, you know. So at least we won, and at least we got all three points. Next, we face Huddersfield. I probably would have said out of the four games that I had remaining this month, Huddersfield probably the second easiest game out of all of them. But they turn out beating us, you know, 1-0, James Vaughan getting the only goal of the game, earning all three points for Huddersfield. This was disappointing because I felt, you know, we have the stronger team, we were the better side, and we should have come away with at least a draw, you know, a win probably tipping our way. You know, overall it was just an average performance by the team, and we need above average, if not, you know, perfect performances to get promotion first time of asking. I mean, one defeat isn't going to, you know, drop us down into a mid-table team or in one defeat, you know, is still very good for this stage in the season. Still, Huddersfield are a team I would have expected us to be at the start of the season. Even though they're doing quite well this year, I still would have expected us to beat them. And to end up the month, we ended up getting revenge on Blackpool, who knocked us out of the Capital One Cup second round by beating them 3-2 at home. The same score they beat us at their home. And you know what? It was a very tense last five minutes, as you can see. You know, they scored the double... In the 85th and 90th minute, but in the end, you know, a very dominant first half and a Danny Simpson third gave us a cushion we could sit back on. We ended up sitting back maybe a bit too far, you know. In the end, Blackpool put up a fight back, but end of the day, very comfortable with the result, despite the scoreline yet again, you know. Okay, we were only one goal difference, but I felt comfortable throughout the game, except for when they scored in the 90th minute. I thought FM was going to do a 3-3 on me, but lucky for me, no. We held out. So now we've got Charlton. You know, nothing, Charlton aren't anything amazing. We're going to the league and we are first. I mean, there you go. Th two points clear of second place Watford. You know, we beat them, which is very important, very key. Huddersfield are sixth, like I said. They are doing very well this year, but I still would have expected to beat them. And James Vaughan is the top goal scorer in the league. So again, you know, we were beaten by a team that possessed some good players. So we face Charlton, who are eighth this live com, and I would expect to come away with all three points. Uh, maybe not a comfortable victory, but you know, still a game with all three points uh, in the bag. And we're going to go out here with this team. Only one change you just showed that saw there, Luke Young, and actually um, Remy is currently injured, so Bobby Zamora will play, and we're going to change his formation. He is a deep lying forward attack. Yes. Okay. So there we go. Again, home. Charlton, London rivals, really we should come away with the result. At the start of the season, I would have said this probably would have been one of the easier games. Uh, you know, top the mid-table championship team, I would expect to not challenge us too much. But, you know, uh, they've done very well at the start of the season. They've done very well over the first couple of months. So, they will. we will have to watch out for them, of course. But, you know, I mean, we struggled against Huddersfield. We beat Watford. I would expect a comfortable victory against these lot. So we got Umbia, and that was the opening highlight. Something I really do not like. Because I always think there's a chance. 
A tight defensive display. Titus Bramble there. Nice header back. Build down the right here with Hoylet. Granero. Fallen. Bramble. Simpson. Hoylet. Still down the right. Hoylet tearing apart the left back. Getting a good ball in. Fantastic save by the Charlton goalkeeper. Really should be 1-0 to us right now. I'm surprised that wasn't a clear-cut opportunity. That was an amazing, amazing save by the keeper. You got Julia Cesar building from the back. We get a long ball forward. I don't know why we're aiming for Tarak with them long balls. I mean, he's not exactly going to trouble the header. We've got the ball back now, and we can hopefully build quickly with Hoylet. Again, coming inside, tearing apart that left back. He strikes at the goal from there. I mean, on his right foot as well. It's only going to ever go wide. That was poor choice from him. And now we're on the counter. Now we're being counter-attacked. Nope, we have tackled the defender again. Hoylet now down the right. Plays it back to Simpson. Simpson to Robson Carnu. Robson Carnu. Oh. Directs it wide. That was another chance again. I would have expected that to be at least on target from that close. And we go 1-0 down. Sylvan Evans Blake. Evans Blake, sorry. Um, ended up getting a goal. One big ball into the box, you know. One set piece and we've conceded and we've, we've been playing well. We, we've had a lot of chances. It's Tarat now, hopefully. Penalty. Tarat went down. Looked like I would expect us to come away with all three points. Titus Bramble making a howler of it. Julius Cesardo quick to react and end up getting there before Berlake. Hoylet again down the right. We're doing a lot of attacking down the right. Cuts inside and once again misses the target. That's poor. I mean, he's doing the hard work, beating his man. But then, you know, he's, he can't finish. And that's what you'd expect from a player like him, in my opinion. You know, a lot of pace, not a lot of creativity. Robson Carnu has been playing very well this season. Hopefully we'll get a goal from him. Had a chance early on, like I said. Probably would have expected that to be on target. Julius says, are the Simpson are on to Hoylet again. Probably been the most dangerous man on the field. But then when it comes to Lair, again, getting in this position, he does that. What is he doing? And you know what? That is really annoying me. If he keeps it up, I will sub him off at half time. I mean, I want someone to run down the right exactly like he is. But then they need to lay it off Hoylet. Trying at the far post this time. Can't get there. Evans, Evans Blake. Is absolutely tearing us apart. We are not playing too well defensively. And oof, almost a second there by Charlton, and that would have really put us in a bad position. Come on, let's build down this left now. With Ashley, with Ashley Young, sorry, <laughs> Luke Young, Robson Carnu with a poor cross. Granero's there, Tarat is there. Uh, it's just poor attackingly. Nine shots, one on target. That is not acceptable. That is really, really below par. And now the clock is ticking out till half time. We'll get them in there and I will shout at the team. Hope for some sort of improvement. It really should improve in the second half. We're going to aggressively tell them, come on lads, do you want to win? I'll keep Hoylet on. I mean, uh, I'm not happy with what he's doing. He's probably missed more shots than anyone else on the team. But he's getting in them good positions, you know. And I'd expect... You know, someone with a bit more composure maybe to score. I, I'll give him his chance. I mean, I'll give him the a, a opportunity to try and get the goal as Hoylet. Gets blocked by the defender yet again. Another shot, another one off target. Zamora's not having a good game. We may bring Andy Johnson on this Hoylet again. This is Granero this time. Hoylet back out on the right. You know, he's making a mockery of this left back for Charlton, but can't seem to produce anything. Lucky for Charlton. Falling. Is there... Oh, close opportunity. Now we're going to make some changes. We can't be doing this. Um, I actually need to go into advanced tactics. Actually, watch this highlight. Set piece over from Granero. And we will go into this. So we need Andy Johnson on the pitch. Play him as a poacher. How Robson Carnu is not playing well, but Hoylet is playing even worse. We bring on Park Ji Sung and Alan Tarat is on a yellow card. He's not too fit, so we'll bring on Jermaine Genius. So we'll make all three subs in the 58th minute. This is a risk. This is a risk I'm going to have to take if by the looks of it I want all three points. But currently, I'd say a draw is respectable. I just don't want to lose to Charlton. Look at that. It puts us down to second. That is poor. That's disappointing. Considering the position we are in. I can't really do much more apart from going from overload. I don't really feel like going overload. I do not put shouts on. I don't really feel like putting shouts on. Like I say, the team should be good enough the way they're currently set up to beat this team. Get rid of that at the top. Anyway, and Bia. Ball on the right. Pachi Sung's there. Pachi Sung scores. That left back was having a terrible game. Um, sorry, I just want to get rid of the top thing. Having an absolutely terrible game. Um, 
Hoylet just couldn't capitalise on it. In the end, we bring the guy on that can. And that's Park Ji Sung making a difference with his experience. Chasing down a ball which looked pretty much gone. Falling. Granero. Oh, Granero with the shot in the end. Just getting through to the keeper and forcing a good save. And Bia. Young down the left. Crosses this one in. And the end of highlight. Poor, this is poor. Probably just the end of highlight right now. Though it would be lovely to score. Simpson hopefully can whip this one in. Fall in. Granero. It is all over. 1-1. One, one, really poor game. Not clinical enough up front. And I was just showing you as well. We beat... Um, there we go. We do that. Yeah, we beat Watford being very clinical. Six shots out of six on target. And now, just not the same. Not, not good enough. I mean, they had one chance all game and they scored from it. So disappointing result there. Hopefully we can pick ourselves up though in the following month. We only have three games remaining in this month against Bolton, Barnsley and Doncaster. Um, so not the not the toughest month. Bolton are currently 14th, Barnsley are currently 20th and Doncaster are currently 21st. So I'll be hoping to pick up a remaining 12 points, no 12, sorry, 9 points. <laughs> My math is appalling. I'll have to pick up 9 points for the remainder of this month. And hopefully the life come against Bro uh, Middlesbrough will be a bit better than this one against Charlton. Disappointing results indeed. Also, I've got to tell you, um, I actually picked up Manager of the Month for the past month. Uh, August. We picked up Manager of the Month. You can win in three games and losing one. End up being the best out of the whole division. So, a good month for us indeed. So, this is it for now, guys. Until next time, until the Middlesbrough Live come. Peace out.